a lot of people like the slower pace of country life. Hey, Franklin. And out at Taronga's Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo, the world's largest species of tortoise, the Galapagos, takes the whole slower pace thing down to the next level. So these guys are from the Galapagos Islands. So they're an archipelago of islands about 500 kilometres off Ecuador, South America, and they are just so unique. They are up to 300 kilos for the males. Uh, Franklin here is about 260 kilos, so he's, he's very, very big. Um, and here at Dubbo, at Tronga Western Plains Zoo, we have uh, eight Galapagos tortoises. So we actually have five adults, so three males, two females, and then we have uh, three little hatchlings. So NJ here, he was the first Galapagos tortoise that we've ever had hatched here in the whole Australasian region. So we were the first zoo to, to breed them. And since he was born, we've actually had two more hatchlings uh, born six years ago. So Penna and Turbo, uh, they weigh about a kilo each. It's definitely been a team effort uh, to breed such a challenging species. And I feel very, very grateful to work with them every day. <laughs> But astonishingly, these youngest tortoises actually came from the zoo's oldest resident. So this is Audrey. She is about 95 years old and she is the proud mum of our three little hatchlings. So pretty amazing, 95 years old and, and a mum. Um, but everything about Galapagos tortoises is just incredibly slow. They move very slowly. They move at a top speed of about 0.3 kilometres an hour. <laughs> and here lies the main reason they are so difficult to breed, as they really, really take their time doing anything. It takes them about 30 years before they'll generally start breeding, and it'll often be even longer than that before they're in the prime of their breeding age, before they feel comfortable and before they actually lay that, that first clutch. The Galapagos tortoise is a perfect example of evolution, ideally illustrated by how they've evolved to be able to breed. Basically, the tortoise shell is made up of two parts, the carapace, which is the top part, and then that connects all the way through to underneath the plastron, which is just the bottom half of the shell. Um, the plastron, so the under part of the shell there, for males is completely, uh, it's quite concave and that's just for mounting the females. Um, so they fit together when they mate with the females, they fit together like two spoons. So quite an amazing shell, I think. <laughs> Evolution has also given them another strange quirk, but this one is more to do with cleanliness. So this very handsome fellow is actually our largest Galapagos tortoise here at the zoo. This is Albert. He is 50 years old, and I'm gonna get him to do a very impressive behavior and he's already done it. He knows the drill. So you can just see he was in a total um, sitting position there, just grazing on this hay. And then as soon as I approached him and started to give him a little bit of a tickle, he's raised up into this really impressive finch pose, as we like to call it. So you can see he's got his neck stretched as far as he can, his legs stretched up as far as he can, and he's staying incredibly still. Uh, so on the Galapagos Islands, um, they have this symbiotic relationship with finches that live on the islands. And basically what they'll do, the finches will fly up to the tortoise. It'll elicit this behaviour um, and they'll, they'll raise up like this and the finch can then feed off dead skin and bugs from the tortoise. Here at the zoo, if there's anything we need the vets to come down and have a look at, they can come down. We'll get the tortoises up like this in the exact same pose. They're the best patients in the zoo. The vets love them because of how, how um, willing they are to participate in all their health checks. And they're even able to get take blood from the tortoises in this position. Um, we'll just give the tortoises a really, really good scratch, which will distract them and they'll, they'll be able to take blood. So amazing patients and amazing to work with. And after spending time with these gentle giants... Here you go, Wilbur. How could their zen lifestyle not rub off on the keepers? It is an awesome experience being a Galapagos tortoise keeper. You learn patience very, very quickly. Everything about them is slow, um, but you're just in awe the whole time you're down here. You can't believe that a tortoise can be this big, that they can have so much personality. It is such a nice way to spend some of your day. You can just come down here and just chill out even, you know, they're just calming to be around and they, um, yeah, they remind me to take things slow. <laughs> <laughs>